Coming up today on Houston Life, famed New York City accessories designer and Texas native Lili Sadugi is in Houston. She's got what's hot for the holiday season and what brings her back to Texas. Plus, known for his soulful country rock performances, Katie Country artist Will Carter joins us for a live performance and his new album, How You Know. Then we're taking you inside local hip-hop artist Travis Scott's third annual <laughs> Astroworld Festival happening this weekend at NRG Park. They got the pose down and a new prize has been added to the Houston Life prize wheel. Find out how you can be the next insider to win big. All that more happening today on Houston Life. Live from Studio B and KPRC2. Houston Life starts now. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Houston Life. It is Friday, November 5th. I'm Courtney Savala. And I'm Derek Shore. So glad to have you with us today. I'm wearing my uh, Strides t-shirt today. You can sign up on our website in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You can sign up on our website to find out more about how one of these t-shirts could be yours. Absolutely. Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, a great um, partnership with the American Cancer Society. So it's awesome. Yeah, they do such good work. And you know, for years, my mom volunteered for the American Cancer Society. So it's always been near and dear to my heart. And we do want to note that we do have the right video for Katie Country artist Will Carter joining us in studio for a live performance of his brand new album, How You Know. It dropped last week on his wife's birthday. This guy is known for his heartwarming lyrics. Something tells me that was not just a coincidence that that album was released on his wife's birthday. I think he's a very romantic guy from what I've heard. I think it's fantastic. Loved. I can't wait to chat with him early, later today and also hear a song. It's awesome. I know. A live, a live performance in studio. Well, listen, speaking of handsome men, People Magazine, Sexiest Man Alive, it won't be unveiled until Tuesday. Oh, okay. okay. I was like, wow, we, we know who it is? I, know, I okay. wish we knew early. We do not. But what we do know is they did a Reader's Choice poll. Right. And what's really cool is they broke it down into a few different categories. You're seeing on the screen right now the sexiest Olympian category, Caleb Dressel uh, and his abs took the top spot. Uh, he beat out Tom Daly, Bobby Fink, Noah Lyles. So our Olympians, that's appropriate because we just finished one Olympic Games. We're about to go into the next. How about this one? Sexiest Peloton instructor. That's another category. It's another category. It's, they essentially had 20 categories for readers to weigh in on. Alex in the center there takes the top spot. We can't forget about Cody, Dennis, Ben, and Matt. A lot of people are, uh, are really talking about Cody on Dancing with the Stars too. Yeah, I love Alex too. Tucson. Um, you know, I take a lot of his classes, but I, I think they're all so good looking and charming. I mean, you have to be, right? They're teaching a class, speaking to us, but right now to a room full of no one. And how do they do it? I mean, to, to be able to exercise and still be charming and not out of breath, I don't know how they do it. And they, angry, not be angry. <laughs> and not be angry. And <laughs> Crying, <laughs> crying like I am when I'm on the bike. How about this one? Sexiest silver thirst trap. These guys are all 50 plus. Oh, of course, there. you know, John Stamos, top left, one of my faves. Mark Wahlberg Mark. Mark. takes the top spot. There are, there are no others. Mark Consuelos, Jeff Goldblum, Chris Maloney. So uh, there you go. There you have it. Check it out online, though, people.com. They even did like the sexiest vaccine selfie shot. Okay. So it's, it's very current. It's very 2021. How about that? I'm still stuck on Marky Mark. You know how I feel about him. I know. I love him. He hasn't aged today. I swear, you look at a photo of him from 20 years ago to today, the guy does not age. Does not age. And I, I, I periodically look at all those photos maybe twice a week. Anyway, so, you know, I have, um, I have two boys. In Why is that ill? Oh, it's not. He's I, so good looking. That was, I was just burping. That I did not say ew. It was a it's the Skittles. I just like you burped up your Skittles. How could you? You don't think he's not good looking? No, he's a very good looking man. I love him so much. And thank you for the Skittles. Courtney brought in all her uneaten <laughs> Halloween candy that I'm still eating here, which didn't serve any. I have the wrapper well in my pocket. All. I just finished them. Um, okay, so school pictures. I have yeah. talked about this when our kids take school pictures Ugh. or when our kids take pictures. It's a stressful time. Of it, year. Well, I mean, yes, no, kind of. You know, I have boys, so there's not a lot of like drama that's associated with the school pictures. Boys I mean, want to look good in a photo too. They do, but uh, 
listen, our kids do not have bad photos like we do. Because we as parents or loved ones now delete all the bad photos and only keep the good ones. That is a right? very good point. And how about you? I mean, on, on my phone, if I'm going to take a picture of, you know, you or those flowers, I won't just take a picture. I'll take like 20 of them. Kat Sorto, one of our pro uh, producers here, she is fantastic. She's so hardworking. But when you ask She's her to okay. take a picture... I'm kidding. Oh, see, she's going to remember I love that. her so much. She's favorite? the best. She's the best. Um, when you ask her to take a picture, she goes up low. You know, hot. she's taking 25 of them. You get to choose. Let me just bring this back to why I brought this up. So there's a whole thing online about school picture retouches. Okay. Okay. So you see the before and after. The parents get their little sleeve in the mail like... These were um, an actual photo. So you can see the before photo on the left oh. and the after, but they removed this girl's her freckles. Her freckles. I, you know, I couldn't tell what the difference was in the beginning, but now exactly. I can see it. So listen to me. I'm going to tell you this right now before I get to the meat of this story. As a mom, I have retouched my kids' photos because, like, the dark, you know, the shadows, and I never know what kind of photo you're going to get. So I just retouched to make sure, like, I mean, I'm not saying remove the freckles. I'm just saying I don't whiten their teeth. That's one of the things you can do. You can but whiten their teeth. Would you retouch their school photos, or you mean you would retouch the photos that you're just taking on your phone? No, I don't, I don't retouch the photos on my phone. I retouch the, the school photos because, you know, if there's like a shadow or like dark, are there, eyes? are there shadows in school Sometimes. Photos? Sometimes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Sounds like sometimes. your school needs a new photographer. But here's the thing that really got me. So I don't care. I know. We, we do have great photographers, though, at my kid, like at uh, our school. We do. But sometimes, it's just, I don't know, just maybe they're tired, okay? And so here's the thing about this story that really got me. There are, um, there's a mom that has two hearing-challenged toddlers. Okay. And when she brought her kids in for their school pictures... You know what they photoshopped out of the photo? The Their hearing the aids? The hearing aids. Oh. And the, that mom literally said, you know, that is part of her child. Yeah. And they're, they're cute because he, he has green hearing aids. And so when you go online and look at the article, that's what enraged me. That is a part of who that child is. It's nothing to be ashamed of. will be later on. Yeah. You know, maybe I have a man child, you know, he just turned 14. So if he takes a picture and he's got a zit, I'd like to remove that. No one wants to remember the zit. Okay, so there is a debate then. Some parents are saying you should retouch or it's okay to retouch. Others are saying absolutely not. A zit, though, is sort of like part of your timeline of life, it, right? And I is. feel like whether it's a zit or freckles or, I don't know, maybe you fell and you, maybe you have a black eye from baseball or something. Wouldn't you want that sort of documented as part of your life's uh, Yeah, but I mean, book? if the retouch option is there and you want it, take it. Sounds like a very personal choice. But I also wonder, though, if it is teaching children from a very young age that you are not good enough the way you are. Like, well, oh, you let know me just this is a great photo, but we're going to make it better by altering it. I mean, because it happens every day on social media. Well, but disproportionately, too, young women yes. start having body image issues from a young age because everything they've seen growing up, many of us have seen. You know, you see a magazine cover on the newsstand, and chances are good it's been photoshopped within an inch of its life. Oh, for Might sure. Might as well be a painting. For sure. Huh. I, I'm, I know. I'm with you. I mean, there's there's filters for everything. I say no to the Photoshop, but I do. I mean, I'm not the type of person who takes a photo and then will, like, filter it to death. Like, we all know those people, right, who do the giant baby doll eyes. And yeah. It, it, they don't even look human by the time they post it. <laughs> but I'll, like, swipe once to the left just to put on, like, a nice little clear skin filter. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's That's different a retouch. with kids, though. That's a retouch. Okay. Hey, it's a special uh, day, actually. It's a special weekend because one of our producers, Beatrice. Beatrice, do a drive-by. Come on. Just Come on. Get on out here. Just walk and drive. Just Beatrice drive is one of our hardworking family members. Get on over here. There she is. She's a new mom. Her baby, Sophia. Her husband, Frank. We love you so much, Thank and we're so glad you're part of the team. Yes. We hope you have a fabulous birthday weekend. She's got all kinds of balloons. Happy birthday. The office is decorated fabulously, so enjoy it this weekend. Thank you so much, team. I love you all. No, we oh, love you we back. Love you too. She doesn't take enough time off, though. That's my only note for you, B. Take more time off. <laughs> all right, guys, still to come, we've got a pack show for you. From whoosh of Viper to the splash of the tidal wave, we're chatting Astro World memories. Oh, I think a lot of people's ears just perked up. Astro World. And speaking of Astro World, let's check in with Lauren and Joe, who are giving us a preview of this weekend's music festival. Hi, guys. Absolutely, guys. My 
Peter is definitely perked up. We're going to give you an overview of everything that you need to know before heading out here to Energy Park for Travis Scott's big Astroworld Fest. Yeah, and we're going to be giving you a run through of all of his community events that he had happening leading up to Astroworld when Houston Life returns. You ready to have some fun? I'm so ready! <laughs> Welcome back. We've got a flashback Friday happening and things we remember most or miss the most from Astro World. Of course, we're talking about the amusement park. Um, and do you know the theme park was in operation from 1968 to 2006? Five. 2005. Yeah. So th I missed out on all the excitement, but many Houstonians, I mean, Brandon included, they all have such great memories of this place. There are so many, and including our uh, one of our producers, Heather. Do we have the photo? I think when she was a little girl. Look at how cute this is. That's her with her dad. Oh my gosh. And I think what Heather said is what she loved most was walking over kind of the bridge, the skyway to get over there. That was like the big, her big memory. Mm -hmm. And I hear people talking about that all the time. Well, and that bridge, so directly across from NRG Center, yeah. essentially that bridge is still there, right? And now where Astro World once stood is just a big open field. So when it first opened too, because I was reading up on this, 68 to 75 for seven years it was run by the Hoffines family right and then six fat flags acquired it in 1975 and ran it uh, for 30 years I know it's such a big staple I mean I I was here in 2005 so I remember when it closed and the auction and things that you could buy people got seats and different parts of 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 the amusement park you know like in their man cave or in their backyard or something like that so a piece of the tilt a whirl yes so did you ever go like when you before it closed no you never did no really yeah I mean even some of our youngest staff members uh, Kat had mentioned earlier she has just very vague memories of going to Astro World as a child and over the years there have been many calls to actually bring it back I know I, I think it's just being used for storage right now, rodeo storage. Well, listen, I feel like the appropriate question for today's question of the day, and a lot of people have already weighed in on our Facebook page, we want to hear from you, your favorite Astro World memory. Of course, you get bonus picks, bonus points if you attach picks. Let's get to hear some of your comments now. Ron writes in, throwing up in the barrel of fun. <laughs> oh, that's and a lovely everybody memory. everybody you rode with that day remembers <laughs> yeah, it as well. Melissa do. writes in, um, being dropped off by parents for the entire day and it was safe and the discount codes to get in on Coke cans. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you That's have to right. bring it in and, you know, Save that the would be your can. admission fee. Paul writes in, riding the greased lightning 10 times in a row, then throwing up the rest of the night, <laughs> LOL, but it was fun. Oh, those are great memories. I love it. Suzanne writes in, riding Texas Cyclone for the very first time with my dad. He told me all the way up and waiting in that line that it wasn't scary. As soon as we were belted in, and about to go, he looked over and says, Oh no. It's scary. Oh no. <laughs> but you lived through it, Suzanne. What a great memory. That I is used to awesome. love amusement parks. And it's true. I mean, you, your parents could drop you off and you could just, it was a safe place. You could spend the whole day there, right? No, those are some great memories. We appreciate you. You can continue the conversation. Head on over to the Houston Life Facebook page. Join the conversation there. Remember, bonus points for pictures. We're going to share more of your comments and pics a little bit later on. All right. So, of course, you know by now, Travis Scott's Astro World Festival returns to Houston this weekend. Well, it's a huge music festival, of course, at NRG Park. It culminates a week of events featuring Travis Scott's famous friends and celebrating the community that he grew up in. Let's check in with Joe and Lauren. I love this assignment for you guys because you're at the festival, but you're there together. We have one Houstonian, one transplant, so this is awesome. <laughs> Exactly, Courtney. I know you guys were talking about the rise, and just before you entered this beautiful entrance, look at that, Travis Scott's ginormous head right there. You guys have to look. You were talking about the rides. Doesn't that remind you of the Space Needle slash the Skyscreamer? Houstonians will know exactly what I'm talking about. A lot of merchandise has the old Astroworld logo on it. It's just a great time for Houstonians to come out and kind of be nostalgic and remember all the things that Astroworld was, just even as you're walking through and up over where NRG Park is. It takes me back for sure on the days I used to get on the tram and ride it all the way up to the front gates of Astroworld. I wish I had more photos still, but for sure I have lost them all. But I want to give you guys a little bit of info before you head out, a couple of things to keep in mind. 
you probably should wear some comfortable shoes. You might want a jacket or a coat for later. Also, ladies, you're going to need a small bag or a clear bag, but no big purses. You can't forget your vaccination card. Also, bring some water and bring some sunscreen because the lineup today, even starting from right now, I'm going to run through it for you. On the thrill stage, Don Tolliver, Roddy Rich, Lil Baby, Saza, and then at 845, Travis himself will take the chill stage. And you guys, the music is just a part of this. There are rides set up. There's different merchandise all over. It is, yeah, everybody's so excited to be here, especially Joe. He left me. So why don't we go through and find Joe? He's on the other side. Look, this is the actual entrance of the festival. You can walk right through Travis Scott's mouth. And I know on the other side of this, Joe Sam is waiting for us. He's been dying to hey, talk hey. about it. We found you, Joe. <laughs> How's right. it going, Lauren? It's going great so far. Welcome to Astroworld. Thank We're having you. such a good time out here. And you know what? Everybody else has been so great. They're smiling and having such a good time checking out the stages and what's been happening on stage, all of those performers. But speaking of before all of those performers hit the stage, there was a lot of community activity that happened with you Travis You got to Scott. do all of this yesterday. Yes, absolutely. It kicked off on Wednesday with him heading to Young Elementary School, and he did a community garden. So he was even out there planting some of the plants oh, yeah. for this kids for us cactus jack foundation which gives back to kids in the community give them resources so that they can succeed in life Absolutely. and then on thursday yesterday we had a huge celebrity packed softball this tournament. is really cool oh, they had so many people over there lauren so we had bumby we had of course our favorites paul wall the people's champ yeah the people's champ <laughs> and then of course trade the truth we had them to give us a little taste of what they happened at the softball okay. game so let's hear what they had to say Travis Scott always does so much for the community. You as well. Yeah. You guys focus on giving back to the community so much. How does that feel? Coming from this community, uh, of course, giving back is an obligation and responsibility we all have. But watching Travis Scott do it, he's such a, a good individual. We're seeing right there. Hello, Travis. What's up? Always giving back. <laughs> always the leader for the community. Always showing other rappers like myself how to do it. Showing us how it can be done. You know, he does it at such a large, grand scale. Look, Travis Scott could do anything anywhere, right? He's such a big star. He has this incredible celebrity status. Is, has all this momentum and energy behind him, but what does he do? He brings it back to Houston to do things for his city. That's that's a moment that you just can't really buy, right? And so when we see someone from Houston trying to do things for Houston, it's imperative that we get behind him and support them and stand up for him, man. Yeah. What Bun B said was so important because Travis does so much for the community as well as them themselves. They also do so much for the community, including all of the people out here. Coming Can we out just talk support. about how Paul Wall is happy all the time? <laughs> He's always so happy to talk about Houston. But you know yes. what, Joe? So this is a two-day festival, and mm -hmm. we mentioned all those names performing later today, but also there's rumors of a special guest. Yes. And who do you think it could be? I'm not sure. I'm hoping that it's maybe Megan Thee Stallion. You know, oh, she won her Grammy. Okay. So we don't know who he may bring out, but he has so many I celebrity heard, there's friends. There's been rumors of Kanye West. Yes. He, he was spotted at the Manil Museum, the Manil Collection in Montrose. Of course, we know that Drake is a huge fan of Houston. Oh, we and love he, him. He, he'll take any excuse to come here. So uh, who knows? It could be him. It could be anybody. I can tell you right now everybody's just expecting a great time here at the festival we can already see so many people coming in you guys you ready for the yeah. festival yeah. <laughs> well Derek and Courtney I think Joe and I are gonna go look for some of that cactus drinks uh, and a little bit of the merch we're gonna try to get our hands on too we'll try to bring you guys something fun back Absolutely. I hope so I definitely want some merch I need a t-shirt hey real quickly guys if people don't have tickets just yet can you break that down they need a ticket to get into the park or do they need a different ticket for the concert can you help us out with that it's an overall pass, Courtney, mm -hmm. so I actually cannot confirm that it's sold out. But if you need to know last-minute tickets for anything, AstroWorldFest.com and HoustonLife.tv, we've got that info where you can get a straight link to the ticket information. And when Perfect. we come back, we're going to be telling you, if you can't make it out here to the actual concert, we're going to tell you how you'll be able to stream it and listen to his entire concert online. So we're going to give you that information as well. That sounds great. And Pretty my cool. bet is going to be that it's Drake. He loves, he loves Travis Scott, loves Houston, so... Keep your eyes out for him, guys. We expect an interview coming up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Look, we'll be I've looking. Got a I'm on the lookout for all the Jenner clan. I got you, girl. <laughs> okay, girl. We'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> I love it. Our eyes are out there. After the break, a catch-up with accessories designer and Texas native Lily Sadugi and why she's here in Houston this weekend. Plus, there's a brand new prize on our Houston Life prize wheel this week. Find out what it is when Houston Life returns right after this.
Welcome back. New York-based accessories designer Lili Sadugi is from Texas, went to UT, and her signature piece is that pearl knotted headband. I'm a big fan of her designs. She's back in the Lone Star State with a personal appearance and a sneak peek at her latest collection. I'm very obsessed with your headbands. I have quite a collection of my own. But what I love is when you do a collab with someone else. One of my favorites, of course, was Lily Pulitzer. What's the latest mm -hmm. collab that you have going on? The latest one, and if you love Prince like you did for Lily, I think you'll like this one. It's Liberty of London. And this is something we've been working on for a while, um, and they've supported it greatly on their end over across the pond. Um, but there's been, you know, delays because all the stores, so many of them were closed last year. So we're finally right. able to celebrate it and have a few. Do you want to see some from the collection? Yes, please. Um, we were able to go into their archives. It was really fun to look at older pieces and also stuff from the new fall collection. But here's just like a sampling of some of the prints that we have. Um, this one's really popular. I actually went and I found an outfit that matched this because, you know, it's it's one of their like classic iconic prints. So we we're able to use kind of their fun graphics, big florals, and then they're really like iconic ditzy florals. So it's it's fun. And um, we've got some that are like totally jeweled up too. I also love your pairing. You're kind of um, eclectic. Um, unexpected pairing. So even though you have a, a jeweled headband mm -hmm. down now, don't be afraid to add something else on the ears or around the neck, right? Yeah, I mean, I've got like a long purple silk skirt on underneath here, but I think it's all about mixing. So you see I have just kind of like a, a peach colored sweatshirt and like a skirt, and then you wear this with it too. So it's kind of about mixing the high and low. I love it. Okay, so uh, what else do you have going on? Because I understand you're getting back to your Texas roots for a really great headband collection too. So when we opened up our store in Dallas, in Highland Park Village in May, um, we did this exclusive headband, which is our number one. And I think that everyone in Texas will like it because it's got the longhorn on it. We're calling this the Southwestern headband. And if you look up close, you can see here the longhorn. We've got some feathers some crystals. So it's just kind of, and then the fabric behind it is just like a nod to the Southwest. And it's really neutral, but when you go up close, you can see all the details to it. And it's um, it's really fun. Yeah, I switch probably about to 10 different headbands a day, so yeah. <laughs> you Perfect. always make our holidays uh, brighter and sparklier. Well, I do have some holiday ones too I could show you. Uh, yes. I have, you know, these very traditional like looking plaids and tartans and all you have to do is just mix in some pearls and crystals and just really had fun with it. Um, I did a few last year and they sold out in a second. So we kind of expanded and had some had some fun doing it. It's great. Well, thanks so much for the fall forecast and holiday forecast. We appreciate it. And we'll see you soon in Houston. Okay. I love catching up with her. By the way, we're so excited because Lily is at The Avenue, an absolutely adorable boutique. It's at 3209 Westheimer for a trunk show today until five. She's there right now. Wait till after the show. And she's back again tomorrow. She's also the featured designer at Recipe for Success Fashion in the Fields at Hope Farms on Sunday. So you can see all of her designs on models and hit the runway. I, I love the designs and I also think she just seems like a really cool person. Right? So cool. Yeah. I know. So go check her out today. For more information, visit our website, HoustonLife.tv. Very, very nice. All right. Still ahead on Houston Life, we'll check back in with Lauren and Joe. They are giving us the scoop on this weekend's huge Astro World Festival. And we're also getting a check of what's coming up for the news at four. Look at this beautiful Chamber of Commerce oh, picture. Such a nice day. Not a cloud in the sky. We're back in two minutes. Welcome back to Houston Live. Courtney and Derek back with you. TGIF, we finally made it. Beautiful Friday. day, and it's Beautiful. all about Astro World. Earlier in today's show, we asked, what is your favorite Astro World memory? Let's get more of your comments. Emmy writes in, I love the funnel this. cakes, Texas Cyclone, going with my dad on a picnic, also taking a family picture. I'm the one in the blue dress on the right side. Adorable. And these old Western photos, too. Courtney, you were just saying this is one of your favorite family traditions. It is. We did one at the rodeo. I'm going to dig it out. I've it's never good. done one, so let's do a rodeo. Oh, thing. we definitely have to. Sandra writes in, getting soaked on the tidal wave bridge and then spending the rest of the day in wet clothes. That's a win-win right there. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> and Amy writes in, my favorite ride was XLR8. Here's a pic of our last time. Oh, Accelerate. Okay, hello. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, producer Heather and Meyer. Come on, Derek. I never went to Astroworld, okay? <laughs> it's like, it sounds really fancy, the XLR8. It's like a That car. picture, though, that was the last time her family was there. Oh. Amy's family went 10 days before Astroworld closed. Oh, that's a great photo. XLR8. That's going to be your new XLR8. license plate. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's doing my best here. I'm trying. You know, hey, it happens to the best of us. Let's check in with Christine, Andy, and Frank for a look at what's coming up at four. You never know, guys. You just never know. I, I love know. the accelerate. I see a customized uh, mug heading your way for Christmas. Yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> love it. Okay, so yes. Yeah, speaking of Astros, really happy Friday to you guys. First yeah. off, yes. um, let's let's get over to Frank to talk about the forecast. It's mm -hmm. a nice fall day out I mean, there. Beautiful. If we could bottle it, we could sell it. Oh Man. yes. Amen. So nice. Look at that sky. I mean, that's just as blue as blue gets. We have 65, 66, 66 in Sugarland, and 65 in Galveston. Really perfect. If you're going to be out walking that dog or taking a jog, you couldn't ask for better. Right there in the 60s. Sun starts to go down around 630, 61, 58 at 7. So it will be on the cool side. In fact, a chilly date night, but a nice date night. Maybe, maybe a chilly date night is the best you can get. 55 at 8, 53 at 9, and 52 at 10. High pressure's in control. That'll continue this northerly flow. Look at this. This is the bike rally and I'm not in control of the camera because people are lined up to look at the bike rally. So I have, I have the one picture with no motorcycles, Caroline. What is going on? <laughs> no. at, at four, there's one. All right. There, we finally got one coming through. You've got a great weekend down there. 72 Saturday, 74 Sunday on the island. Coming up, we'll talk about the cool evenings and mornings. Just how low it's going to go. Probably colder tonight than you think. I'll have those numbers and talk about the next cold front. That's on the boards too. All right, we'll talk to you then, Frank. Thank you. All right, so some scary moments this afternoon at Travis Scott's Astro World Festival. Yeah, I want to show you this video that just came into our newsroom. This is from KPRC 2's Bill Barajas. You can see people storming the gates at NRG Park to get into that music festival. Some people appear as though they're getting trampled as the crowd pushes through security. We're working to learn if anyone was hurt. Yeah, hopefully everyone's okay. All right, plus Quinceanera is returning in a big way. A look at from the Lavish parties to the dresses. The coming of age ceremonies are really a cornerstone of Latino tradition and making a comeback now that we're doing better in this pandemic. And Houston's own Lizzo and her fans breaking records and going viral. The TikTok video she made with 200,000 of her closest friends that is now heating up the internet and social media. Yeah, so hopefully everyone's okay out at Astro World. Yeah. Fun memories out there. A lot going on yeah. out there today. That video guys. was really something. Yeah. Intense for sure. Yeah. All, All right, right guys. guys. See you at four. Well, as we were just mentioning, Houston native Travis Scott's Astro World Music Festival kicked off today. Yeah, it's all happening at NRG Center. That's where we find Lauren Kelly and Joe Sam. Hey, guys, how's it going out there? Hey, Courtney, Derek, so it's so much fun happening out here. Everything has calmed down since earlier when everybody was trying to get inside, really trying to get that energy started. So we're at the merch tent right now. Take a look right now. You can see all of the line of people really trying to get inside. Some people have been waiting four hours to get inside of the merch tent, which is where we find some of those fans right here and Lauren Kelly. <laughs> Lauren, I hear they have been waiting for over four hours to get in. You guys, this is so reminiscent of Astral because if you'll remember walking into the park, there is merchandise, but there's also a gift shop and there's also kind of the smell that makes you think of the streets of Astral. But these guys have been waiting in this line for almost three hours. How does it feel? I know you got the cacti. That's Travis Scott's seltzer. Do you like it? I love it. Well, yeah, he's double fisting it, so yes, he likes it. Now, Colton, we were just talking to you. You are a native Houstonian, and you are a big fan of Travis Scott. You're up in the Rockets, the Astros. Uh, are you excited about the music later tonight? I'm actually so excited. Can't wait. Been waiting for more than a year after COVID, so it's been a long time coming. You know what? That's right. It's a really great way for people to come back. Everybody here has to prove that they are negative with COVID. You show the vaccine card, Joe. So we've been talking about a lot of fans that are really excited for some new, some music, right? Yes, for are. sure. Yeah, I've been waiting for this like for forever. Like I never thought it would happen, and it's like crazy to even be here. So I'm just really happy and like, really excited. Well, thank you guys so much for have a great time tonight. I know you're gonna have a really good time because you're already set, ready to go with the cacti, Joe Earth. Wind and fire is on that lineup. 
Earth, Wind & Fire, one of my favorite groups, so I know a lot of people are excited about some of the other performers that are going to be hitting the stage as well. We have a huge lineup, which we're going to have on our website, HoustonLife.tv, so you can check out the lineup of people that are going to be performing. But if you can't make it out here like we promised, there's going to be a live stream that's going to be happening for all of the Apple Music fans and all of the Apple Music users as well. That's going to be kicking off at 9 o'clock tonight. If you have Apple Music, you will be able to watch the concert live from the comfort of your own home. So that's going to be exciting for a lot of people who couldn't make it out here, unfortunately, to enjoy all of the energy where all of these fans have been giving. Yeah, well, this is just going to be so much fun if you're out here. The trick is to get out here early and be in those yes. comfy <laughs> shoes because you're going to be walking, you're going to be waiting around a long time. Courtney, Derek, I know we promised some merch, but I think that we need to get these guys to wait in line for us. Can you get us some merch in there? <laughs> yeah, we got you. We got you. Okay. They, they got right us. Now. They got us for sure. Awesome. Right, back to you guys in studio. <laughs> yeah, we love that vintage Astroworld logo so is so, so cool. Earth, Wind & Fire, too. I love that there's a wide range of uh, bands that are there, too. Yeah. Thanks for bringing it to us, you guys. Lots of fun out there. Ooh, try the cacti as well. Oh, I've had it before. I have Got it from HEV. It's okay. good stuff. Okay. All right, you want to stay right there because after the break, Courtney and I, how about we spin our Houston Life Prize Wheel? We're spinning for one lucky viewer to win. And you could be our next $1,000 winner. That's when Houston Life returns. It is Friday, and you know what that means. It is time for our Houston Life Prize Wheel, where we spin for you to win some pretty cool prizes like staycations, Landry's gift cards, a family fun pack, a thousand bucks, and Courtney. Today we have a brand new prize on the wheel. It's a weekend brunch for up to ten people at the Rustic Post Oak. Okay, now I'm feeling all kinds of pressure. It's good I'm stuff. To spin the wheel today. We are spinning for Jeff Bild, who is joining us via Zoom from League City. Happy Friday, Jeff. Welcome to the show. Hey, thanks, thanks. It's great to see you outside enjoying this beautiful weather. Tell us a little bit about you. We know you love to garden and you have a daughter who's expecting her second child. So what, what are the big plans this weekend? Uh, I, like I said, with the weather, I'm probably gonna do some biking, uh, but I got, I got a little more mulching to do. Um, and my daughter would like some help with putting up a 12 foot tree. So I may, I probably head up there on Sunday. To do that. Well, listen, in case your daughter is, uh, is watching right now, it is such a beautiful weekend. If you wanted to delay putting up the tree until Monday, that would be fine. And I'm pretty sure your dad might, might like that as well. <laughs> Sorry, did I just out, out you? Did I say too much? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it's all gonna be fine. We put up our tree last night. Okay, so of all the prizes on the wheel, is there anything you have your eyes on well i don't know about that big prize but a thousand dollars sounds good i mean bucks so no pressure Jeff. lucky i know i'm feeling good i like that you got your friday shirt on to go with the outside beautiful weather should we give it a spin let's do it we wore our lucky pink for breast cancer awareness month all right Bye here you. we go let's go for it courtney okay. you do the honors <laughs> spin 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 big money And it looks like you have won. Oh, <laughs> come on, $1, Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I got $1,000. Jeff. High five. That's huge. How do you feel? Yes. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty. You're a little subdued. Pretty good. <laughs> no, That's going to buy no, a lot of new plants and gardening soil. How about that? Yeah, yeah thanks. Wow. That is uh, normally. Yeah, that's, aw that's awesome. Jeff, let me just tell you, normally I do get the spin again, so I was <laughs> freaking out that it was going to be a spin again. Yeah, it was looking that way for a minute. Well, congratulations, Jeff. $1,000 is headed your way, and thanks so Perfect. much for watching Houston Life. I appreciate it. Thanks. I just want to make a call out for my family that's here local, Brittany and Spencer and Ava, of course, my two-and-a-half-year-old uh, granddaughter and my wife, Cindy. And my father-in-law, who's out of town right now, Art, for letting us come down here and move in with him. So I appreciate oh, it. Well, Thank we you. love that. We that love that. That is awesome. Our producers are going to be in touch with you shortly. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being an insider and watching Houston Life. Yeah. Thank you. Congrats. Appreciate it. And hello to your family as well. That's only the second time we've given away $1,000 with our wheel. If you would like your chance to spin and win live right here on the show, all you have to do is join our KPRC2 Insider Program. It is absolutely free to join. 
join and there will be great prizes and discounts and giveaways and so much more. Just head to clicktohouston.com slash insider or simply scan the QR code at the top of your screen. That is not there, but just go coming. to our website. It will be there with uh, the find the Houston Life Prize Will information there on our website. $1,000. I mean, what a great way to I start the weekend. I know. We're I'm so, so glad. happy. So happy. That All is right. right. Okay, guys, after the break, from life as a newlywed in Katy to his new album, Texas country artist Will Carter. There he is, joins us in studio for a chat and a live performance. But first, let's find out what's coming up on Entertainment Tonight with Kevin Frazier. Hey, Kevin. Courtney and Derek, tonight on ET, Will Smith opens up to Oprah and sharing what you never knew about the superstar, then Kanye West unfiltered what he's saying about Kim Kardashian and other music superstars, plus the secret behind Angelina Jolie and Salma Hayek's onset sisterhood. You don't want to miss it. That's tonight at 630 right here on KPRC2. Now sit tight. Houston Life will be right back. Well, he is a 2021 Texas Country Music Awards finalist for Male Artist of the Year and known for his heartfelt songwriting. Katie musician Will Carter joins us now in studio. Welcome to Houston Life, Will. Congrats on what's been a very busy year. You got married in April. Right. And then last week, your brand new album, How You Know, released on your wife's birthday. Coincidence or by design? By design. Yeah, we get, we get a little control over that. So, I, you know, we, we did the music video in Belize to the last single, Ocean, and uh, that was kind of a, a honeymoon gift to her. And then uh, when it was time to release the album, um, I got to choose. We were going to do it a week earlier. I was like, you know what, let's wait. Drop it on the 29th and that'd be, that would uh, make her happy. Well, okay, and what a beautiful couple here. But, but let me understand, uh, so you went on your honeymoon to Belize and you also were shooting a music If you can imagine how that time. conversation went. <laughs> how did it go? <laughs> well, so the song's Ocean, and we were going to Belize, like, you know, I hate to say this, but where are we going to find a better ocean than Belize? And uh, she goes, only you would want to work on your honeymoon. And I go, so I sold it like this. I said, all right, what we're going to do is we're going to have the team there. I'll, we'll do a honeymoon highlights video. Like, we'll shoot some footage for the video, then you and I can, can do some stuff together, and then we'll make a honeymoon highlights video. Like, you know, how cool would that be in Belize? She said, okay, and she agreed, she's cool. And then when we got back, I didn't tell her, but what we did was we put her in the video, so that's... And it's a great tax deliver. deduction, by the way. No, I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding. So let's talk about your life and your career, because this is a pretty huge honor, the award that you're up for, uh, Male Artist of the Year. I mean, that's huge. This is happening next week in Fort, Fort it Worth. It is, yes. On the, so we've been chosen to play the uh, pre-party in the stockyards on Saturday night, which is the 13th. And open to the public. Open to the public. Uh, and it's, 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 we got the choice to do that or to, open the, to play to open the ceremony ceremony of the awards. And I, I played the awards last year uh, just myself, acoustic, and as they let us do full band, choose between that and the stockyards, and the stockyards where the party's at, so that's what we chose, and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, you look like a full-fledged star here, and a lot of people may look at the photos and listen to your music and think, wow, you know, this, like, this looks so glamorous, this looks so cool and so fun. This has been a long time coming for you. I understand you debuted on stage when you were only three years old, is that right? <laughs> that is true, the Sealy Fantasy of Lights Festival. Wow, in, okay, so you've essentially had performing in your blood from a very young age. You know, my dad uh, was 6'4", 250 pounds. He thought I was gonna be a football player, so he put me in tap jazz, ballet, and gymnastics at the age of three to awesome. learn agility and balance. Wow. And that's, I didn't, my mom's 5'3 and weighs 95 pounds, so I'm not a football player, but, uh, but, but that's kind of how I got into the music thing. But it really is something, I mean, very few people can say that they do what they love every single day. And just like your honeymoon story, which I know we laughed about, that music is ingrained in every aspect of your life. It is, I start to, I get the shakes. If we go a weekend without playing a show, like, like 2020 was so hard. I mean, I had to do everything I could to keep my sanity. I mean, and so I did a ton of online stuff. You know, that's how, what most of us did. And I did a ton of writing. I mean, I've got, we just put out this album. I've got half of the next album already written and produced and ready to go. So it, that's just because that's, that's all we could do. You know what I mean? We couldn't go play live shows. So uh, we had to do what we could to stay sane during that time. Well, that's very good news uh, for your fans that your next round is already in the works. And in the meantime, <clears throat> Will's music is available on all streaming platforms. So Will, what do you say you walk over to our performance area so we can get a taste of some of your work? You're joining Bobby Tapia, who's also on guitar. And uh, why don't you guys take it away and we're
we're going to remind our viewers that your new single is now streaming on all platforms. Take it away. Monday on Houston Life, ahead of the 32nd annual Ice Spectacular and Tree Lighting event, returning to the Galleria next weekend, The Voice contestant Dana Monique will join us to chat all about the upcoming holiday event and her special performance there. And we're catching up with two Astros fans who transformed their space into a sports sanctuary perfect for any type of entertainment. Can't wait to see that. All right, we're going to get a final look at our question of the day. Of course, we asked, what's your favorite Astro World memory? Let's get right to it. Linda writes in, I remember walking over the bridge, then meeting up with friends there in the summer. Then they had concerts at nights and other times. Yeah, so many memories. It was sad when it closed. Aww, and Melissa writes in, taking my kids for the first time oh. in 2001. Hard to believe that was 20 years ago. Something tells me her kids are a little more grown up uh, at this point. That was outside the Texas Cyclone. Check this out. This is one of my favorite comments with a picture. Amy writes in, I still have my season pass. If you notice, Aww. 
2004. Look at Amy's photo there. I love that. Super, super cool. You know, I, I was obsessed with amusement parks when I was a kid. Me too. In Utah, we had something called Lagoon. I've been there. Lagoon. <laughs> and it, uh, you know, it was sort of like a, a smaller amusement park. Right. But that's all we had. And it, I really, really loved it. Now I go on roller coasters and I kind of like black out a little bit. Oh, I don't black out, but I can still hear like the sound. We would ha we had Great America growing up in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, it was very close to the Wisconsin border, but that's where we would go and have a pass and all of that. But I can still, when you said roller coaster, I can still hear that t -t 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 the tick in my head. The about, wooden ones. Yes, the wooden one. <laughs> yeah. I know. It was a good time. I've slowed down a little bit now in my old age. I prefer to float the river in a tube. Oh, I love floating the river. It's and, good yeah, stuff. Yeah, Connor and Orlando like roller coasters. AJ and I, we just like to go eat, get a snow cone, and eat our way through an amusement park. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I'm... then we're like, oh, we just ate. We probably shouldn't ride anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that does it for Houston Life today, but I believe Andy and Christine are standing by oh. now in studio. Hey, what a great way to kick off Friday, guys. Yes. I know. I hear that tick, tick sound, and then I, my right? heart goes into Literally, my stomach. I was going to say, my, my stomach is like in my chest. <laughs> like, I, I love the Sorry. idea of the thrill, but oh. I can't yeah. do it now that I'm What if we did a little field trip, guys, one day? Like the four of us, we go, I don't know, I guess we'd have to take a little road trip. Sure. Yeah. You know what my face would look like on the, the photo? I guess we'll find <laughs> out. You know? <laughs> like literally tears, full, just totally petrified. <gasps> but, but it's fun, right? It's priceless. It's, it's all for the gram, girl. But all don't give gram. Courtney any pink lemonade because <laughs> what goes down must come up. Oh, yeah. No, don't. no, no, I'll no, no. I'll be eating on Monday if we go on a Friday. Seriously. <laughs> okay. Seriously. Great to see you guys. Have a yeah. wonderful weekend. Thanks, you too. You too.